Our next guests are a husband and wife duo who co-founded a company called Humane, which recently launched a wearable AI device. Joining us right now is Imran Chowdhury. He's chairman and president of the company. I'm Bethany Bongiorno. She's the CEO of the company. Good morning to both of you. Morning, You're morning. wearing the device. Yes. Uh, this is potentially, depending on what you think is going to happen to the future of wearables and tech, the future of how we're going to interact with, uh, with technology. You guys are uh, former Apple folks. Um, I don't know if it, can we get the camera so people can see just what we're talking about in case they're uh, they're uninitiated. Little things on their lapels, but like, which you can't really see. Okay, Bethany, yeah, you can see but, it a little bit because it's silver. Imran, you can't see as much because it's black, so it blends in with your jacket. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. For those who don't know about this, and I watched you on TED, I then saw the all, and everybody, it was, it was the whole internet freaked out because yeah. this is a fascinating new new sort of way to compute and interact with technology. But tell us what it does and how it works, if you could. Yeah, so this is AI Pin. It's the world's first AI powered mobile compute device. It works by using natural language, uh, touch on the touchpad, and gesture, and is capable of doing just about everything that you can do on a conventional phone with a lot of new things that use things like contextual compute, optical sensors to bring in what you see around you when you want it. It's privacy first, so it's not always recording. It's actually just doing things when you want it on demand. Is but it doing something right now, or are you it's recording not. us? It's doing nothing right now. But this is all about sort of a screenless um, thought process about how sort of yeah. we, interact, we interact. But it's all mostly voice, some hand. Yeah. And so the hand is, I can bring up a um, laser projection system, which I can show you right now. And turn around, maybe you can get that on camera. Oh, yeah. I see your hand. Yes, keep yeah. Doing keep, it. I keep, see your yeah. hand. Can you see that? that? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. that telling you? So this is this is a display when you need it. It's just capable of doing a lot of things, but it's not something that you need because the device is actually built to be multimodal. That means you can use it however you want. Like right. what? Like what? Tell me something you would use that for. So you use it for just about anything, like uh, sending texts or checking up on any notifications that you've got in, stuff that you do just all but the how time. how would I know without seeing a screen that somebody was texting me and I'm ever... I'm so you involved. get a... There's a speaker that's built in and then there's a, a user LED called... Well, so that's what I want to ask you about. Is the ex expectation that people are going to use this with headphones on, without headphones on? Sometimes I'll be at a meeting, yeah. right? And, and I'm sneaking under the, under the desk to look at my email because right. that's, and I can't say, uh, hey, hey Siri, you know, tell me my email. Totally. Because I don't want the whole room to hear my email. So how does that work in this context? So the device is powered by an AI powered OS, which does a lot of those things that you would manually do underneath the table during a meeting for you, figures out who's really important, and then elevates those to you through a beacon that lets you know that a colleague or a family member is in touch or something that's urgent that's come up. And at that point, you can just raise your hand up and you can see uh, what's important right Why there. Why is that better than the, the watch that, that Apple has out at this point? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing here that is, is that it's AI powered. And so it's doing a lot of that, that heavy lifting for you. So you just actually engage with it when it's really important. But seriously, if, if I'm in a meeting and I'm talking to somebody and all of a sudden it does what? It buzzes or something? And I know that that's set it'll up to be. It'll illuminate. Then that way you'll know it's a trusted contact or someone that you've But i got to go like this when I'm in the meeting and anybody who can see my hand can see, the, see what I'm reading too? How, I mean, I don't know how that's yeah. different sure. than what the screen's doing. Yeah, I think very it, similar to a phone in that way. And we also have, though, a personic, we call a personic speaker, mm -hmm. which allows you to have this small bubble of sound that's really private for mm -hmm. you you can turn it up if you want to play music and have it be louder, but you can also have it feel very private just for you. We're it's so literally like, like whispering in your ear. Yeah, the person so, sitting, like Andrew wouldn't hear it. If right, I so Imran, you know, speaks very low. He's very pretty quiet. It's something that he can speak to it in a very low voice if he wants. You can use right. any Bluetooth headphones if you want to use that as well. So can I ask you guys a question just as, as entrepreneurs and just thinking about getting into the space as an independent startup operator? Yeah. What gave you, the, the, frankly, the courage to do this? Because I imagine at some level you have to say to yourself, there's amazing technology in here, but then there's the apples of the world that I imagine if they wanted to try to uh, ape what you're doing, that they could. Uh, maybe they yeah. could put a lot of this technology into their watch if that's the form factor they decided on or something else. What would, just walk us through sort of the yeah. thought process about that. At the heart of it, we believe that AI is really going to drive the next generation of compute. 
but that in order for you to fully get the power of it, we needed to rethink everything. So we don't do apps, right? The, there's a burden that comes with having to know that an app exists, searching for it, downloading it, managing it, logging into your account. Like AI allows all of that to disappear. So the way that our platform works, it's both a device and a platform called Cosmos, is that we do all of the uh, heavy lifting in terms of that. All you have to do is ask for something and we do it for you. Uh, and that really is about streaming things on demand for you. It would find stuff from apps that exist or this is like no apps in the world? No apps, it's all about streaming AI experiences. What's the price point? It's six ninety nine for this model, and it's seven ninety nine for the one that she's got, and that's the complete system. Comes with everything plus additional accessories that we've made a part okay, of. Okay, dare I ask, at that price point, what kind, what kind of sales do you have to have for this to actually be a profitable venture? Not that much compared <laughs> to um, you know we still make a profit off the device, which is something that's really unique. We worked really hard to make sure that we've got. Uh, that going for us and our margins are pretty decent both on the software side and, and the, the hardware side. Well, there's, there's, there's a subscription, subscription is $24 right. a yeah. month. Yeah. And the so subscription that's... includes your network connectivity. It is a phone, so it comes with uh, network connectivity through our, our network, which right. is powered by T-Mobile. So I would um, call, I could call yeah. just like... So it has a phone, a phone number, you, you can yeah. make say, call calls. me. And you can yeah. just call me. And you can <clears> use <throat> AI to actually send messages and craft messages so that you don't have to do all of the work. If I can right. send a message and craft it using AI and also get notifications. Just using from AI. a privacy perspective, how do I know that you're not videotaping everything you're doing. It's a doing. great question. It's a great question. So we've got built in and designed into the product something that we call the trust light. Mm -hmm. It illuminates. I'm just going to put my finger down and you'll see that right now it's actually on. That's the only time a microphone or anything is engaged when it's actually being uh, used. When it's not on, it's not being used. And it's something that's built directly into the hardware so you and everybody else around you knows when it's being used. And that also means it's protected from any kind of exploit. So it's ever if it's ever tampered with, the device will become immobilized and you'll need to get it serviced. And we, we actually believed from the beginning that it needed to be and it should be more transparent than the devices you have today. I'm sitting across from someone, they have a smartphone, it could be recording audio, it could be taking photos of me, I would have, no, have no idea. idea. And we believed that we needed to build something that was <clears throat> even more transparent than the devices we well, have. Well, sure, because if I'm going like this, you might assume I'm taking pictures. Sure. Of you don't That's know. Basically but what this right. device is doing it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, and with this one, that was the intention of the trust light, which is right. it's hardware interlocked, so I can't exploit the LED. If I'm recording you or if I'm capturing audio or video or photos, you will know the LED will be on. In terms of the AI, is this your own model? Is this somebody else's model? Are you building on top of something? Yeah, it's a great question. So we have our own models that we run. We also use OpenAI as a reasoning engine. Our platform allows for any kind of LLM to really plug into it, which is really important. That gives you choice eventually, and also means that we'll be able to deploy into different markets when we get there with Different kinds of LMMs are just really working. They're those very location specific or region specific or domain um, specific. Yeah. As and, well. and our and our goal has always been to be the platform right. for everyone, and that really was at the when heart. You of it. Think